I'm Jasmine, and I am new to Julia. These are the first lines of Julia code I ever wrote, and from the variable names, you might guess that I picked up the language to help with my personal finances. I actually learned Julia to help Santa's elves. Like many people here, Julia is not my first language. I'm most at home in R, which I use for data science, clinical research, and scientific software development. Because performance and mathematical tools are super relevant to my work, I wanted to check out Julia, but I didn't have a great context to use it until Advent of Code. So Advent of Code is a free annual online programming event featuring daily puzzles every December 1st to 25th. The puzzles are loosely Santa or North Pole themed. For example, for this puzzle, you had to count how many trees you'd collide into while tobogganing down a slope. So a matrix traversal problem. Each puzzle has two parts. The second part is revealed once you've completed the first part and usually builds on what you've implemented in some new way. So for part two of the debogging puzzle, you were given a set of alternative routes and you had to figure out how many trees you'd collide into on each of those. There's a competitive aspect to solving each puzzle before one of the other 100,000 global users, or you can participate in smaller communities like the Julia leaderboard. But I think Advent of Code is also a perfect time to learn a new language. It's language agnostic. The puzzles start simple and ramp up into trickier problems, and they require a variety of approaches and data structures. But perhaps most importantly is the community around it. It's really rare that experts sh openly share how they approach the exact same problem that you're working on. The Julia Lang Zulip community is a great place to go to check out solutions that had lively discussions every day. So for example, here's one where people are talking about how to handle out of bounds errors on matrix traversal. It turns out that try catches have a bit of a hit to your performance, so you're better, out using, you're better off using check bounds instead. Twitter under the hashtag Advent of Code is also a great place to go to discuss the problems. I'd share my solutions and I often got feedback and it was fun to watch solutions pop up over the course of the day. So here's what I've learned about learning a new language with Advent of Code. Step one, get something that works. Read the documentation. I found the Julia plugin for VS Code. It was super helpful here. Once you've got your two stars for the puzzle, clean up your solution and think about what was slow or cumbersome. For example, on this day 11 solution, I started with nested arrays as a data structure, perhaps as a legacy of my time with Python. I converted that into a 2D array instead, which was both less clunky to work with and faster. Then check in with the community. How did other people handle the same tricky parts? For example, I looked on Zulip and I found that a lot of people are using character arrays, whereas I'd used a string array for this problem. I converted my solution to a character array instead and actually found this cut down 90% of my computation time. Finally, keep in mind what you've learned for the next day or the next set of puzzles. And I hope to see you at Admin of Code 2021, whether you're learning a new language, flexing your skills, or trying to convince someone else to learn Julia.